Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is LS Kid, also known as Luke in the real world, and uh, I'm bringing you a game of Call of Duty Black Ops. And um, I actually just um, did this match last night, and uh, I've, I haven't really played this game in a couple weeks, so um, I think that uh, I got a pretty good score right here, and um, you'll have to wait until the end to find out what it is. Um, and I think that you'll be pretty impressed with the score. And uh, I do get a couple chopper gunners and gunships in this, so uh, I fast forward through them. Um, I've seen quite a few other walkthroughs slash commentaries, and um, I guess the most effective thing would be to fast forward through them because uh, I guess a lot of people don't really like watching them for some reason. I don't know. I I usually do, but um, I guess a lot of people don't. So um, yeah, I'm using the Enfield with I'm not too sure. I think it's extended mags on it. Um, yeah, I think it is extended mags, and, uh, I haven't used that gun really very much at all. Um, but I am trying to get it up to my favorite weapon, just because, uh, that'd be pretty sweet. And, uh, that way it doesn't really look like I'm that much of a tryhard. And, um, people, I might get chirped seeing how, like, my KD is, like, 2.39, uh, due to the fact that my favorite weapon is the FAMAS. And, um... So yeah, I'm trying to switch it up a bit, and I got a few good things going on right now, and, um, you know, there's not really that much to talk about other than, uh, I'm really glad that I got this week over with. I had a lot of homework this week, um, I had two essays, which of course I would leave to the last minute, um, so I had a law essay and an English essay, and, uh, that took quite a bit out of me, so, um, I had a really good sleep last night, too. No, actually, you guys don't even really care about that, but, uh, anyways, back to the gameplay, which I'm quite sure that most of you guys would rather hear me talk about than my life and just shit like that. So, um, yeah, I'm using the Enfield Extended Mags. I've got the, uh, first rocket launcher as my secondary weapon and um i've already talked about um that gun in my other walkthroughs on how it's really accurate and uh it's probably the rocket launcher that i would suggest for most people to use the most and um another thing i wanted to say i did get an s video cable for my dazzle so i could have better quality but for some reason it uh will not work and, um, that's probably due to the fact that it's from Hong Kong, which I bought it off eBay, so, uh, that's most likely the reason why it doesn't work, but, um, I'm still using it as, like, the composite cable, so, it's still gonna be pretty much the same quality as before, and, um, I've been getting an HDTV for Christmas, I think, and then after that I'm saving up money for an HD PVR. So um, that's going to be a lot better for editing videos, and um, I'm still editing everything in Pinnacle Studio, so um, it's going to take some getting used to after I get my HD PVR, because I'm going to have to probably edit it in either like Vegas or I think I'm getting After Effects too, I think. So, um, yeah, I get a really good score on this, and I actually only end up getting two gunships and two chopper gunners, so, um, you see a lot of just regular kills, I guess you could call it, and, um, a lot of, like, uh, my friend, I showed him this video, and, uh, he was saying that I was playing combat training, but, um, for any of you guys that think I am playing combat training here, um, I'll just tell you this, you cannot play demolition in combat training, so therefore it is not a fake match. In fact, I'm playing a uh, team tactical, and um, I'm actually playing with my buddy here. Um, his name is Tyler, it's Mr. Pitt, which you'll probably see in the intermission when I bring up the screen. He ends up going 67 and 17, I think. 
And there was a bit of lag there. I'm not too sure why that happened, but uh, yeah, you'll be seeing most likely a whole bunch of Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, and um, yeah, I think I'm going to be making walkthroughs of the Medal of Honor for the PS3. That's going to be my next series, so um, you can be looking forward to that. Uh, as for the Medal of Honor Frontline walkthroughs. I am going to be uh, making them. I'm having people over today, I think, so uh, most likely later tonight I should be having one more of them up, and uh, I'll be making the last couple of videos tomorrow, so um, I'm hoping to get all this done by this weekend. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out those walkthroughs. They're uh, pretty decent. It's uh, an older game. I think it's from about... 2005 or something so um I'm not really quite sure on the date so don't kind of go with my guess it's just a guess <laughs> um and uh, right here I speed things up I think with my gunship I'm not even too sure or maybe it doesn't speed up but um yeah, it may speed up during the video, but it's not speeding up right now. But uh, if not, you'll get to see the um, normal speed of the gunship, because I'm not going to go back and re-edit this. Because I don't feel like making commentary all over again. But, um... I really don't get that many kills. I maybe get about 20, 25 kills. I probably get 25 kills total with my gunships and chopper gunners but that still equals quite a bunch quite a lot of uh kills with my other shit so um my perks that i'm using i'm using oh man i'm not even sure i think i'm using hacker pro i'm using sleight of hand i know that for sure and i think i'm also using scavenger i believe no it's not even scavenger uh, oh well, who gives a shit, eh? Um. Like, these guys are really big noobs, like I was saying earlier. Um. That's probably due to the fact that, uh, my friend, he doesn't have the best kill-death ratio, and, um, he's only, like, level, like, in the early 30s for this match right here, and, um, so he can get us into some pretty decent games with noobs, and, uh, yeah, it makes things pretty easy on us, and, um, wow, I'm only about halfway through the whole commentary now, and I've got nothing else to talk about. Oh, isn't this just great? Um, if any of you guys are, uh, Minecraft fans, I would, uh, go check out, I would suggest checking out, uh, this one guy, his name is Captain Sparkles, you've all most likely heard of him if you play Minecraft and watch Minecraft videos, seeing how he's the uh, biggest Minecraft guy on YouTube, and he makes some pretty sweet videos. Um, the one series that he made that I would really suggest watching is uh, it's called Skyblock Survival. You basically just start out on a little platform in nothingness, and uh, you have to basically create your island with uh, whatever you have and um you have to find a way to create more blocks and shit like that and um if you don't know what minecraft is it is basically a an extremely pixelized kind of game where you create whatever you want and um it's still in beta right now so you can go buy it for twenty dollars and um if you wait then you're gonna have to buy, for your, buy it for uh, full price um, which will be probably like double that or something, I'm not sure, but, uh, it's a pretty good game, and I would suggest getting it. Um, you can do multiplayer servers and shit like that, and, um, yeah, overall, it's just a really cool game. And, uh, you can see my score through each round here as it goes up, and, uh, I'm now into the last round, and, um... 
yeah, I'm not really too sure when this walkthrough ends because my Pinnacle Studio is acting up lately and it's being really gay. So, um, anyways, I'd like to take this time to, uh, just say go ahead and give this video a big like and, uh, it will make me smile and I'll give you kisses. Yes, I will give you kisses. Um, and, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want. Or if you hate me, then, uh, and think I'm boring, then I guess don't go subscribe to my channel. Um, however, I would appreciate it if you, uh, would. And, um, yes, I'm not really sure what else to talk about. And, uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the, uh, well, I guess leave a comment under the video and I will be sure to reply to you. And, um,. I really don't have much life, I guess, so, uh, I'm always pretty much at home, so any questions, I'll be able to answer them within probably about one or two hours, I'd say, so, um, yeah, that about covers that, I guess, uh, I've got a, I pretty much have to say that in every video now, just because I haven't really been getting that many subscribers, and... Um, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would. I've got, like, almost 60 uploads now, and, uh, I upload maybe three videos a week as of right now, I think. But, um, if there's, like, holidays or something like that, I always put up more. And, uh, I guess it just really depends on what kind of a mood I'm in, but, um, I'm always gonna be active. I'm not just gonna stop making videos. Um, I've already put too much money in towards making these. And, um... Yeah, I guess um, yeah, I'm not too sure what else to talk about. So, uh, it's 12 minutes into the video now, and um, yeah, what we were trying to do here, we uh, weren't letting them like get to the objectives right away. Like, um, the best strategy if you're playing against noobs and you're just trying to get up your kill death ratio is to, in fact, just make the game go on as long as possible, and therefore letting them get a few bombs, and let them win the second round if you're just destroying them. That way you can go into the extra tiebreaker round, and, um, this way you get the maximum amount of kills that you can possibly get. And, uh, yeah, it's probably the best thing that you can do, and, um, Unfortunately, you do get a few players, like, I'd recommend having a full party when doing this, because you'll end up getting a few new players, like, I do have one in this match, I believe, that wouldn't listen to us, and, uh, he only screwed things up once, but, um, it was pretty easy to recover from it. And, um, yeah, so just be sure to have a full party when you're attempting to do this, and, um, hmm, hmm, yes, uh, I'm basically just spawn trapping right now, um, their spawns are over there on the last part of that kind of alleyway right to my right, and, um, and then at the very back there, those are basically the two main spawns that you need to, uh, watch out for. And, um, it's really helpful if you are attempting to, uh, boost up your kill-death ratio, if you're playing Demolition, to, uh, know where the spawnings are. Because, um, you can get a lot more kills. I remember, um, my one friend, not too long ago, um, he ended up getting, like, 112 kills or something like this, so he ended up beating me just by a few kills. But, um, I, this is still a really good, uh, walk through not walk through screw them um commentary and um if you kind of think that I'm boring right now that's because I haven't really pre prepared anything to talk about like in the uh, Medal of Honor walkthroughs I can talk about well the actual walkthrough I guess <laughs> like what you're supposed to do in each area but um this is probably the reason why I don't make too many commentaries for like Call of Duty and stuff because it's basically just like update videos and um I don't know I guess I make a bit 
too many of these update videos. So um, I guess this would be like the equivalent equivalent of a video log or something like that. And um, I haven't really made a video log before, but uh, it's also known as like a V blog, I think. So um, if you guys want me to make one of them, I will. So you can see my beautiful face. Um, I get compliments about how attractive I am all the time. No, I'm just kidding, I don't, but, uh, I don't know, I've been told that I'm fairly attractive. And, uh, yeah. So I get a nice spray right there. I get, like, four guys in a row. I get a nice little double here. But then, unfortunately, I end up dying by this noob. And, um, I'm not prestiging on Black Ops anymore. I'm 8th prestige, level 50, that's what I made it up to. And, uh, I've got, like, over 100 grand right now, so, um, no more prestiging for me.